Welcome everybody for this video about how to build a 3D balloon powered car using Tinkercad. And this video is going to be about how just how to start the build. If you Google 3D balloon powered car, you're going to see a number of um, cars that you can choose from, try to recreate. Uh, the, really the possibilities are endless. I think that we're going to try to create something very similar to this one. A jet car with a... and we'll have the wheels probably on the side. And um, when you lay your wheels on the ground next to the body like this, it minimizes the amount of plastic that is needed to build your car. So it's really a good setup. And then once you print it, you'll basically pop the wheels off and then place them onto the car like that. The balloon will be attached here and the air will flow through uh, the tube, through the body of the car and out the back to propel the car forward. Pretty slick design. Notice that there are many other designs. And it's kind of fun to watch. And ultimately, our job is to race our cars. So, the first part is to log into Tinkercad and create a new design. This will take a little bit. Really, the first thing you always want to consider when you open up a Tinkercad is, um, is your grid and your, um, your snap measurements. I always click the grid button and set um, the units to inches. And the 3D printer that we currently have is the MakerBot Replicator Dual. And this will change the width and the height of the, of the Replicator Dual's uh, print stage. Click Update. And it's fine to use the grid at 1 8 inch uh, currently. We'll change this as we go. Okay, so we're going to make the body of a, a car similar to this. And this is, shape is actually called a paraboloid. And um, it's in here. You can use other shapes if you'd like. I'm just going to use this one. If you take your mouse wheel and you scroll your mouse wheel with your index finger, you can zoom in and out. Okay. If you actually click on the shape, you can rotate it. And when I rotate, I always recommend, um, I always tell people to hold the shift key down. If you don't hold the shift key down, you can rotate it any along any uh, degree, especially if you in increase, um, if you drag the cursor up beyond the the uh, compass. You really can be uh, have some fine adjustment, but if you hold the shift key down, you can actually rotate a ninety degree uh, angles. So I'm going to leave it like that, and I'll just make it larger. Now let's try to keep our car no more than about um, three inches or two inches and then I'm going to flatten my paraboloid shape like this. Now if you take your mouse button, your right mouse button, you click your right mouse button with your middle finger, you can do what's called orbit. Okay, and You'll need to orbit, you'll need to zoom in and out and if you click and hold that mouse wheel with your index finger you can do what's called panning, P-A-N, pan around. So you'll need to pan, you'll need to orbit, and you'll need to zoom throughout this tutorial, okay? And you don't need to match my pans and orbits and zooms, but you do need to see all the sides of your vehicle, okay? Great. So notice that that car is more rounded on the front. It's fine. Ours doesn't need to look exactly the same. Um, and theirs is squared off in the back, uh, much like ours is, okay? Now, it doesn't matter also if you make your uh, car the proper dimensions now because you can actually scale it in any size later, um, which is great about um, vector programs such as Tinkercad. Okay, so this is the body of the car. And it looks a little bit narrow for my taste. I'll just increase the width just a little bit. And to see the current widths, just click on any corner selection handle. And I'll just pull it up to two. Two by four. For now. And I'll pull the height up to one and a half or so. There we go. Okay. So that's the start of my car. Now I'm going to try to draw this front 
uh, piece here. And notice that it's basically a, a cylinder that's cut in half. Okay? And there's a couple of ways to do that. I believe Tinkercad has... Well, this one would actually work. A round roof. That would work quite well. So I'm going to pan back. I'll simply increase the size of this. And I'll drag it up. Now the black cone allows you to drag a piece up. Like so. And I'll make that uh, two and a half inches or so for now. I'll go back here. Notice how the front of the car protrudes a bit from that shape. And it looks like this extends so far out to extend beyond the body. So we're going to have to be really careful of that. Because if we were to draw basically um, a line, let me pull in a box and drag this all the way out it would have to clear the back of the body. So I'm actually going to make this flare bigger. So I'll delete this box as my measurement tool and I'll pull this out. Instead of two and a half inches, I'll just go ahead and make it three inches. I'm thinking I'm going to increase this, the width of the body of the car to about two and a half as well. Okay. So I'm going to copy this flare. Control C, Control V works in Tinkercad. And I'll put this in the back of the car, like so. Okay. Now, Tinkercad offers a great way to align it. Yes, you could snap it to the grid and try to just, you know, orbit and pan to try to align these shapes perfectly. But Tinkercad will align everything properly and perfectly with the align tool. In order to align two or more objects, you have to first select them. So I'll just draw a box around everything, and then the tool becomes enabled. I'll click Align and I'm going to align their centers. And I was actually pretty close to that at the beginning, okay? The last thing I'm going to show you on this video is um, I'm going to level off the bottom of the car, very similar to this. Um, it's flat on the bottom, but my paraboloid here is not. So I'm going to pull in a box and I'm going to flatten the box. And I'll increase the size of the box. And you don't have to get this part perfect because we're actually going to make the box into a hole. And it's actually going to disappear. Okay. <clears throat> so here's how you make a hole. Really cool tool. You click the box and you make it into a hole. Okay. You still see it, but once we group it, you won't. Basically, what we want to flatten is the paraboloid, okay, not the rounded roofs. So I'm going to click on the paraboloid, and then you also have to click on the hole. So I'll hold the shift key down as I do that. Shift allows you to select more than one object at a time. Hold that shift key down and just start clicking away. And then you can group the two objects together. Group. And wait a second. As your shape becomes more complex, you have to wait a little bit longer. And there's the start of your car. Really cool. Okay. So we're going to start with that. That will be the start of our first video. And on the next video, we will uh, 